Hello and welcome to our Canon Denny studio. We are still upgrading our Canon Del Cat 10 bike. Uh, I'm actually moving back from the Shimano 105 newest components to the older uh, Altigra 10 speed uh, components and also um, I'm moving back from the internal cable routing shifters into the external cable routing shifters. But I'm gonna be talking about it in a different video. I will show you and I will tell you how the bike works when it's done. What I'm going to show you today is uh, a huge improvement for the, for the bicycles and it's the Goriden uh, derailleur cables. That's the Goriden cable system. It's a fully sealed system with uh, very, very good housing and super smooth cables. Uh, how to assemble it, uh, I will just show you in this uh, episode. Uh, before we do that, we have to think about just one, one little thing. We do want to have the barrel adjustments for both rear derailleur and front derailleur. We do have this adjustment on the rear derailleur, but front uh, derailleur doesn't have one. So we are using some system that is assembled, assembled on the housings. It looks like this. This one is from uh, jack wire. By using this adjustment, we are adjusting the tension of the cable. In order to uh, assemble this one with our uh, cable system go right on. I'm not gonna cut the um, the go right on housing, so uh, I've just prepared a small part of the uh, of the housing. That's the housing. It has maybe one and a half inch or something like that, with two just standard ferrules. These are Shimano or jack wire. I'm not uh, sure. This one with my barrel adjuster will come into the left shifter just like this. All right? So that our Goriden cable will come, the housing will come into the barrel adjuster on the left shifter and straight into the right shifter. What do we have uh, in this system? Of course, uh, that's the housing. It's pre-looped and it's, it's maybe one point, almost two meters long, so it will, it will just be more than enough for one bike, for the shifting. We do have very, very sleek and smooth um, cables. I do love them. The newest Shimano coated cables that I got with my Kendall K10 uh, were just horrible. Uh, you do not buy them, you do not use them. Uh, I did like older, like Dura Ace or, um, or uh, XTR, just, you know, steel. Uh, cables but these ones are coated and the coating you you almost don't see the coating you hardly see uh, but you feel that it's very very sleek I had a similar one with my SRAM X0 uh, shifters those were black but very similar to this and also with the great shifting experience now um, go right on cable systems they they do not longer produce these because go right on doesn't exist anymore uh, or just does some other stuff, other things now. But you can buy this uh, from SRAM now. And SRAM also will tell you on their boxing that this, this is patented by Go Ride On System or something like that. So the housings and the cables will be pretty much the same, if not the same. All right, so housings and the cables. Then we have also the uh, standard ferrules. We have three of them. Two of them will come into the shifters and one into the rear derailleur, so we have three. Then we have uh, the long nose ferrules. These will come from the cable stoppers on the, on the frame further down. So these will make our system fully uh, sealed and, and locked, we, we could say. And we do have also two grab seals. And of course, uh, one of these ferrules. Another one is the uh, short-nosed ferrule that comes just here, just before the uh, rear derailleur. So it will come to the last part of our, of our housing. That's it. And of course the endings for our, for our um, cables and these very very nice looking plugs or something like that. Okay, uh, what do we begin with? We already have the barrel adjustment, so now we are going to cut the cables. How to do it? How should we cut the cables? 
um, how long the cables should be. Well, I'm gonna show you just as an example here. The housing should not be too long or too short. If it will be too long, uh, it will be very flexy and uh, instead of shifting or moving your derailleurs, it will just move by itself. If it's too short, uh, it will not have a nice curve. You don't want to have like very long curves, but some a little bit sharper curves so that uh, the friction between the cable and the routing and the housing is not uh, through a whole length of the housing, but only on these curves. And also when you are measuring these, just uh, check out how the bike uh, will also turn and how the cable will be behave uh, when turning. I'm gonna cut this and show you how long I wanted them to be. Right turn is fine, left turn is okay. I think it wants to be that long. You wanna have special cable cutters for this purpose to cut them nicely and when we do the cutting it's always good just to check uh, the edge uh, of the cable and see whether it's not locked so that it won't be creating any friction between the housing and the cable. Same rule applies to the rear derailleur. We don't want to have this part of the housing too long and too flexy. We don't want to have it too short. Just in general, these housing uh, from Go Ride On are a bit stiffer from uh, Jackwire on Sh or Shimano that I have used. And I think that this one looks just fine. So we cut this one too. Very nice edge, nice and open. All the rest is actually pretty easy. Um, with the cables, uh, you do have those endings that are Campagnolo specific and Shimano specific. If you're not sure which one goes where, the Shimano is larger. And if you have some old uh, cable, you did have cables probably on your bike. You can just compare these. This one is uh, Shimano specific or Shimano and SRAM specific. This one is for Campagnolo, it's the smaller one. So I'm cutting off those Campagnolo specific endings and um, I will just uh, go with my cables through the shifters. <laughs> just make sure you're cutting off the one you are not going to use. And then the longer cable is for the rear derailleur and the shorter one is for the front derailleur. So don't forget about that as well. The longer one comes through the hole on our right shifter. It comes in just like this. Also make sure that you are on the highest gear or the smallest sprocket in the rear. I'm just pushing it through. It's on its way already, on its place. One thing I always do if my cables touch the ground, I would always make them 100% clean before I put this into my uh, housings. Okay, that's the housing for the right shifter and the standard ferrule comes in here. These are quite tight, so make sure it comes in all the way. Now my cable. When you were cutting the cables, you were deciding uh, which way to go with, the, with this uh, housing. So the housing comes from the inside of my uh, braking housing. And now it's on its place. And now the next part for our shifting system, and that is the long nose ferrule. I'm just gonna check out whether these are same length. Yeah, these both are same, same length, so uh, no difference for uh, right and left shifter or uh, front and rear derailleur. Now I'm pushing the cable through this uh, ferrule and the ferrule comes of course into the or onto the housing. Again make sure it comes all the way in. It looks like that and comes into the cable stop on the frame. Looking good, already looking good. Now the sheet that comes from the long nose ferrule uh, down to the uh, cable guide and the sheet from the long nose ferrule comes through the cable guide just like that. Now I've pulled my shifting cable once more a little bit to the back so that there was no cable inside the sheet that I'm gonna cut. From the left side or from the side of the rear derailleur comes the short nosed ferrule through this cable stop 
and here comes our uh, sheet from the long nose ferrule and these two black and white sheets will be uh, sealed with this uh, grab seal so I do want to cut this one the, the white one just maybe one centimeter before uh, the black one making sure my cable my housings is on its place I'm cutting all right there comes the seal now I'm just pushing it through the this white sheet I'm always making sure it's clean now the short nose ferrule comes in and that's the moment when we are making the system fully sealed this rubber seal is quite strong and it holds on to the sheet very very well now the last part of our housing from the derailleur we are using the standard ferrule just making sure that it's all just open and nice pushing it to the place it's really tight here and the cable comes in finally through through the shifter and it's on its place so let's just let's see the system once more the standard ferrule the housing the ferrule with the long nose coming through the cable guide the rubber seal that I will I will put on these two uh, sheets and then the short nose ferrule the last um, part of the housing and the standard ferrule so this is the fully sealed system well almost fully sealed because in my opinion it lacks a seal just at the end of this uh, cable for the front shifter the barrier adjuster first and then comes in the housing with this uh, standard ferrule, right on ferrule and the next part will be the long nose ferrule it is all installed now and my, my cables are already fastened to the derailleurs you want to make something like this just tensioning everything and uh, making all the ferrules and housings go uh, all the way in to their places and now we can be adjusting our derailleurs it's all done now now just our cable cramps I, I like to type them then in this way and these beautiful go right endings and same for rear cool isn't it and now the most important question how does it work well I am finally at home the smallest and effortless move of my fingers on the lever make the gears just to jump into the place I just love it it's it's completely diff different world of shifting and um, the shifting experience makes me like riding and makes me like my bike if the shifting is not right even though I have a wonderful frame or some other components it just doesn't feel right this one is just great for both front and rear as I told you what this system is lacking is just uh, one seal at the end because uh, this one is not locked so it's not fully sealed actually the last part of the housing is not fully sealed here because um, the ferro hill is just standard ferro doesn't have any uh, any seal in it or any rubber also when you put the grab seal on the front uh, derailleur um, cable make sure that it will not be rubbing against the front derailleur otherwise it's just great I'm very happy with it this was a real improvement for my bike I'm happy with that thanks for watching and I'll see you soon bye bye